Here's hoping you'll never have to, but just in case, let's talk about changing a flat tire. The jack and jack tools are stored under the front passenger seat. Remove the spare tire before attempting to jack up the vehicle. Attach the lug bolt adapter to the winch extension and insert it into the winch mechanism. Rotate the wheel wrench handle counterclockwise until the spare tire is on the ground with enough cable slack to allow you to pull it out from under the vehicle. Remove the retainer nut and then you can lift the spare tire off the ground a bit to help in releasing the retainer. Now just tilt the retainer at the end of the cable and pull it through the center of the wheel. Loosen, but do not remove the wheel bolts by turning them to the left one turn while the wheel is still on the ground. Now make sure you're parked on a firm, level surface, safely away from traffic. Avoid ice or slippery areas. Also, make sure the ignition is off. Put an automatic transmission in park or a manual transmission in reverse. Turn the hazard lights on and firmly set the parking brake. Blocking both the front and rear of the tire diagonally opposite of the jacking position is also a good idea. For example, if changing the right front tire, block the left rear tire. Do not raise the vehicle until you are sure the jack is fully engaged. Now you're ready to raise the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the right. Raise the vehicle only until the tire just clears the surface and enough clearance is obtained to install the spare tire. Remember, minimum tire lift provides maximum stability. Okay, now go ahead and remove the wheel bolts, hubcap, and wheel. Position the spare tire on the vehicle, making sure the valve stem is facing out. The vehicle could be damaged if the spare tire is mounted incorrectly. Now reinstall the hubcap and then the wheel bolts. Lightly tighten the wheel bolts clockwise. Now you can lower the vehicle by turning the jack screw to the left and remove the jack. Once on the ground, you can finish tightening the wheel bolts. Alternate wheel bolts until each wheel bolt has been tightened twice. Maximum effort should be used for final tightening of the wheel bolts. It's always a good idea to have the tightness checked with a torque wrench by your authorized dealer or at a service station. Now stow the damaged tire with the cable and wheel spacer before driving the vehicle. Install the winch extension and rotate the wrench handle clockwise until the winch mechanism indication window turns yellow and the operator hears three clicks from the device. If the winch mechanism window remains black and a yellow dot does not appear in the winch mechanism, repeat the spare tire installation procedure. If the yellow dot does not appear in the winch indication window, place the damaged tire in the vehicle and secure it. Then, seek dealer assistance for the winch mechanism. Now stow the jack, jack handle, and winch handle tools back into the storage compartment, and you're ready to go. For vehicles with aluminum wheels, remove the adapter bracket and bolts from the storage bag in the glove compartment. Take the retainer and position it inside the circular bracket. Tighten the knob on the bolt to secure it to the bracket. Lay the bracket on the inside of the alloy rim. Position the tire vertically and lay the mounted adapter on the inner part of the rim. Using the supplied bolts, fasten the wheel to the adapter using the bolt install wrench. Tighten the bolts with the wrench extension and the wrench handle. Now just refer to your owner's information for proper tire stowage. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.